Hi, welcome to ACMC's Wellness Kitchen. I'm here with Connie Chenault um, from the Healing Wound Center. Connie, can you tell us a little bit about your title and what you do over there? At the um, I'm Center? currently the program director at the Wound Center. Um, previously the nurse manager, so I've got a lot of experience in the Wound Center. Um, ACMC has been my home since I was young. 17, I started at the Wound Center in the billing department and gradually moved up, had a family and came back as a nurse. Fantastic. I mean, we are thankful to have you. Thank We're thankful you. for what you do to our, with our hospital and what you do with the community. And um, thanks for, for everything. We appreciate it. But with that being said, we're here to cook some delicious, simple, pretty healthy food today. With the exception of the rice, would you say? Depends if you're watching carbs or not. Some yeah. people use that rice to get their fiber in. So. See, and a lot of people don't look at it that way. And so, as we talk about rice, we could be talking about rice cauliflower if somebody wanted to substitute for that or, or totally eliminate it. Fan, well, that's, you know what, I actually really like rice cauliflower. I, I make a, like a, I fry rice with it, I mm -hmm. guess. I put mm -hmm. some egg and some peas and all that stuff mm -hmm. in. But today, what are we making? We're making Mexican stuffed peppers today. Well, we were supposed to do this for Cinco de Mayo, but somebody wasn't feeling really well. And um, I didn't think it would be good to, since we work at a hospital, we know our limitations. And when we're not Correct. feeling well, we don't go around other people and we surely don't make food for other people when we're not feeling well. So I'm the reason we are delayed on this, but I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to talk about the Wound Center as we cook and see what we offer the community and what we can do. And as we start out, I just wanted to mention that the foods we picked are pretty versatile. If someone needs to be low carb or high protein, or if they're vegetarian, all these things can be substituted and just whatever works for the individual. I'm going to tell you that I give some people a heart attack when they come and cook with me because... You can splash you know, stuff on uh, me. I'm not going to, I promise <laughs> I'm going to do my best not to do that. I have spilled some things while we're cooking. I have made a mess, but everything is fantastic and we've enjoyed it. So I will tell you that when I cook, I usually don't follow recipes. I make it to my taste. So are you a recipe follower? I am only for certain things like my grandma's fudge always follow the recipe. But other things, I'm kind of a what's in the fridge girl. Yeah. I like to take I, a little yeah. bit of leftovers and mix it with something else. Sometimes it might not look right, but it tastes great. That's it. That's it. Yep. So we are going to post the recipe for a stuffed pepper, but we're going to show you how you can make it a little bit to your own taste. Right. What you like, what you don't like. Eliminate what we're adding if you don't like it or if you're allergic to it. Um, a lot of people stay away from corn. Mm -hmm. Right. So you don't have to add corn. You can add a substitute of anything else that you want. So with that, we're going to make a little, just kind of a festive little drink, something special that right. you're tired of drinking water. This kind of um, is a little substitute right. for that. Right. Sometimes you, you know you want to you want to drink healthy things. And water is the best for us. And if you can spice it up a little bit, put it in a pretty glass. I'm going to go ahead and add the water. And then we're just going to add some mint and cucumber. I like to do this. It makes me feel like I'm having something special, especially when it's hot outside. It looks pretty on a table. You do that? Do you put any herbs in your water I do. At home? I do. I do. Sometimes I'll do um, the basil and lemon. Uh, lemon. I actually like that. Um, so that it, it is. When, when you have guests come over and you have some lemon. Yeah, pretty. Or, Would you like to uh, crunch the... Sure. The mint while I'm cutting cucumber? Yeah, absolutely. They say if you press the mint, you actually get a little bit more of the flavor. Sometimes I'll chop a little bit up of it up as I do that. I'll give it a good press. Sometimes they roll it in with a rolling pin. And I'll just chop a little bit of this up. And I'll, I like to leave some full. So I do it, too. It I do too at home. I want it yeah. to look pretty. And if I'm using a special glass, I throw in a whole piece just so it looks nice on yeah. top. So give it a little smush. Already I smell it. It smells fantastic. And I'm just going to take a bit of this cucumber and add it. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of that down in there. Okay. Pretty. The, we've, we've had the water in the fridge. Some people like to drink it warm. They actually say it's better for your gut to, to drink, drink it warm? warm water. That's, mm. that's what I hear. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. So we're going to leave it warm. We're going to, well, actually, I had those in oh. the fridge. Oh, okay. So it's nice and chilled. So we are, look at how 
how pretty that looks. Cucumbers are fantastic for you health-wise. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And so it's a nice little treat. Again, you talked about digestion, the mint absolutely. for digestion. Cucumbers, a little bit of a diuretic, so you feel a little puffy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and actually that's why, that's one of the reasons I'll do the cucumber mm -hmm, water. Absolutely. If my hands and feet are swollen, it, yep. it does seem to help. Or switch the cucumber up with some lemon. Yeah, absolutely. So when that ends, we're going to get... Um, our sausage cooked we're going to do a mexican stuffed bell pepper but um we've decided to use i'm sorry i said sausage but we're using turkey. we're using ground turkey today yeah, we're using again, ground turkey a little healthier for the you stuffed peppers are so versatile you can stuff them with anything i know at home leftovers beef chicken you go with fried beans if you wanted to yeah and i've actually seen somebody use turkey with a little bit of sausage in it because mm -hmm. they want yep. a little bit of a little sausage bit of flavor. you can do it again make this however you want to right. make it make it your yep. specialty to you to your and when taste when we're talking about wound healing we're always looking for protein protein helps heal wounds you know what and i'm going to tell you we've had a couple other people on talking about different foods and different things to eat and protein 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 yep. seems to be um I, I think I need I need to do that a little bit more. I'm yeah. lacking my As I look at the table, I see the corn, the beans, and the rice, and some people would look at all of those as carbohydrates. And actually, again, substitution, if you use your cauliflower, you could eliminate the corn or even use the beans instead of the meat. Whatever whatever your your taste and your health prefers. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna let this cook for a little bit until and I'm gonna reach around you and throw it away. So you said you started um, out in the home center at 17 or at 18 feet? In the billing, the billing office. I went to the vocational school, so that was your out, half a day out if you worked half a day. Oh, okay. So okay. I was, our office is actually in the Lewis building. It's no longer there. Because we've got bigger and better things we coming up. we got bigger and better, and I'm so proud to say that we're going to be part of that new tower. Yeah, the Lewis Center will be located on the first floor. Wow, and so you're you're an RN now, is that right? I am an RN. Okay, so you went in and you worked here while you were getting. No, I didn't. I was home with my family that's, during that that's time. Right. That's yeah. what you said. Yeah, I worked in the billing office and had a family. Took a little break. Got to be a stay-at-home mom, which was fantastic. Best time in the life. And then uh, went back to an office position, and then just realized I needed something more. So that's what led me to nursing. Yeah. And one of the things that you always say to me is the care of the people. That's one of oh, the biggest absolutely. things that you... Absolutely. Um, so the Wound Center, did you guys just win an award? We did just win. What well, which year, Allison? Oh, okay. Did you no. like win another award? Yes. You know what? We have a great team. This year we earned the President's Circle Award. That is a huge, huge honor. Out of over 600 Wound Centers, 29 got this award. So wow. we were one of the 29 out of over 600. So it's a big deal. That is a big deal. And then we also earned Center of Distinction. Um, that award we've won nine times. But that just proves that our clinical quality is there, our care of the patients is there. And your standard. Absolutely. It is, Absolutely. It's not changed. No, no. And you know what? The thing of it is, is everybody says, oh gosh, what do you have? Little old Ashtabula County. Little old Ashtabula County. Mm -hmm. You know what? ACMC has got some wonderful things oh, going on here in Little Old Ashtabula County. And I love this community. I love this county. Um, the things that go on at the hospital, leaps and bounds, the changes that we're making. And the people good, come and they stay. Yes. Good quality of care at our wound center. So now, if I have a wound, do I need to see my primary care to be able to come You can, but you? you don't have to. You don't need a referral okay. to come to the wound center. You give us a phone call. I can throw in the phone number at any time. Yeah, give it out right <laughs> it's now. Go right. Four four zero nine nine four seven five four zero. And again, no referral needed. And so, if I have a wound, what do I need to be work? You know, as I do that, as we're Run talking the right about that, I know I feel like you're doing all the workouts. I know. I know. I'm <laughs> it's okay. That, but Connie just introduced me to this. It's called a uh, white rice. It's ninety second rice. Mm -hmm. You throw it in with uh, two tablespoons. Her bag, yep. and you bring that, bring that to a high yeah, you're heat. Really, yeah, just heating it through. And dump it. I've yep. never. This is wonderful yep. for a quick meal. If you got the kids and you're going to t-ball, baseball, any kind of sport, you throw this in, and you've got your yep. proteins mm -hmm. and good quality. 
So if you want to start cutting up the peppers, we'll okay. let, let you do that. We'll do that. So if I have a wound, when should I be worried? What should I, why should I want to come see you? You know, it can vary. It depends on the situation. If you're diabetic and you have a wound, you want to get into us right away. We treat every diabetic wound as kind of an emergency in our center. We want to get it healed up so it doesn't lead to a bone infection or a blood infection. Wow. Yeah, I actually, um, I was, I, I knew a woman who was a diabetic and somebody actually kept telling her, go to the wound center, go mm -hmm. to the wound center. And she kept saying, you know what, it'll heal, it'll heal. And eventually she ended up losing her foot. Yeah, that's so. That's what we want to prevent, limb loss. Yeah, absolutely. People who lose a limb have a mortality rate of five years. So that's a huge, huge mortality rate. So we want to keep everybody healed the best we can. And you know what, it's a matter of just coming in. And it's not like it's an invasive. Nope. It, nope. It's pretty simple, right? What absolutely. Happens? We have kind of a process that we follow. When somebody comes in and it's a new patient, that's going to be the longest visit. Okay. They're going to meet their caregiver. They're going to go in and have a full assessment of their wound. Or if it's on the lower leg, an assessment of the lower leg. Just to see a little, you know, what's going on as far as circulation. Do you have a lot of swelling? Is there some fluid that it's a problem? Um, from there, the doctor comes in with your case manager and really evaluates you at that next, at that upper level, like a provider would. That assessment that only they can do. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. So from there, we're going to we um, basically start by measuring your wound, taking a picture of it. As you move to the doctor's section, he may come in and want to debride. I don't want to go too far, we're cooking, but that really just means get rid of any skin or anything that, sh that shouldn't be there. So we can have that new growth, that new blood flow coming to that wound. Yeah, yeah. And so who is the physician over there that's going to see you? We have six. Oh, so, so... you know, you would schedule on a specific day and have that doctor. If there's someone you want to have or your provider would like you to see specially, we can make that happen. Try to get it scheduled yep. on that day. So yep. who are the physicians? Dr. Ogan Lacey is an infectious disease provider. He is our medical director. We're very lucky to have him. He's there twice a week. He is Fantastic. Yes, yes. And then I'll try, I'm going to go by day on Mondays. We have Dr. Dockery Kim. He's a surgeon here at ACMC. He comes in to us on Monday morning and Thursday morning. Okay. And then right now in the afternoon, we have Dr. Dew on Monday afternoon and Friday afternoon. And then Tuesday, Dr. Servastava and Dr. Dunbar come to the wound center. Um, Wednesdays, we have Sister Shirley in. She's our nurse practitioner. She does a fantastic job. Patients love her. Staff love her too. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. yeah. She's very well received by everybody. I think I mentioned everybody. That's all of our physicians. Fantastic. You want to cut? Should we do these again for the grill or you want them bigger so you can handle them? Let's, yeah, let's put them okay. in big so that way we can handle them. I'm going to get them washed up for us after we get the seeds out. So, what I've done now is I've, I've cooked all the ground turkey up. And now we get to add our um, fixins. Is that a word, fixins? I think fixins is good. And you know, I'm a pepper person. Are you a pepper person? I am a pepper person. I like yes. all kinds of peppers. Yeah, Poblanos. You are, yeah. yeah, I love a poblano. Yeah, you and I are garden girls. We're garden too. girls. Yeah, yeah. we like our time of the year. It is. I really wish that we would have done this when we would have had the fresh peppers. Oh, absolutely. They're not. They're not ready yet. I bought some this year that are called rainbow peppers. I'm gonna have a purple pepper. I'm pretty excited. I've actually done them before. <laughs> have you? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoy. I do the rainbow peppers almost every you year. You know, too. As I'm cutting these, I'm thinking: Do you cut your stem out when you do your stuffed peppers, or do you leave your stem? I cut my stem out. Okay. Yeah. I, I wondered if we did it the same. Yeah. And it is funny because some people do. Right. They when you go get a poblano at a Mexican restaurant, the stem is always So you wrong. hold it and yeah. eat around it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're going to take our stems off, but you can do it however you choose. Give them a quick rinse to get all the seeds out. There we go. I feel like I need to speed it up here. No. No, I think we're going, we're doing well. So now we're going to mix in the taco seasoning. Is that right? We're going to put the, all of our, our yep, fixings. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to combine our fixings. Get our, we're going to just use a taco seasoning. We did the original. You can use the hotter, you can use whatever right. you'd like to use. And again, depending on how you like to eat, there are ways to 
being a little more organic. Just sure. use the specific spice, maybe some cumin or I don't know what our other what would the other garlic maybe? Cumin and garlic. I like both of those. Yeah, I do too. I actually pulled out a little bit of garlic here so we can put a little bit of garlic in here if we want. So I'm gonna... being adventurous. I had some garlic that was uh, getting some little green sprouts. So I stuck it in a pot to see what it would do. So I'm excited about that. Oh, you know what? I, I planted about 60 um, garlic heads this Ooh. year. So I'm hoping that I don't have to plant anymore. I'm gonna take about 10 or so and replant next year. So we'll have to see. Those can get planted in the fall, don't they? Mm -hmm. You can do them twice. You can plant them twice. Oh, okay. Well, I'm experimenting. And that's the that's it's how fun. I cook. That's how I cook. That's how I so I don't know if you know, but we do dinner with a doc, uh, or dinner with ACMC. And so we are um, going to do one on June 1st, and unfortunately, we're filled. Our, these fill up very, very mm -hmm. quickly. So Dr. Novak is going to talk about trust your gut, gut health. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, in July, Dr. Vitale is going to talk about cancer, living with somebody who has cancer, um, blood disorders and treatments that we do right here at ACMC. A lot of people think when they need that kind of treatment that they have to go to Cleveland for care and we're going to talk about staying right here at home the care that we have right, here absolutely. and on our oncology department so we've got that going on we've also got um oh, I'm supposed I'm standing here talking you need to rush I'm gonna, me I'm up gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rinse these peppers all right I'm gonna throw in the beans and we, I, was, I was waiting for you to go to August because drum roll guess who is gonna have <gasps> dinner in August uh tell us who's having dinner with us in August Dr. Ogan Lacey is going to be talking about the wound center and hyperbaric oxygen treatment absolutely so if you're interested in um what's going on with Dr. Ogan Lacey um in the healing the wound healing center he's going to be in August mm -hmm, and for the 10th we do have it set for the 10th, and we are going to be at Saybrook. 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 Mm -hmm. And we have, a, we have a meal, and it's free. It's free informational education. You Actually, the physicians have a great time. They come in and they talk with us. Some of them sit down and have dinner, answer questions. Um, there really is a lot of chatter more than it is in education. Just kind it's of like perfect. you and I Give are doing people now. an opportunity to ask the things they really want to know. Absolutely. Absolutely. So are you going to be there with us? Whenever? I will be there. Fantastic. So if anybody has any questions, Absolutely. you'll be here to answer. Any questions about the wound center, how we do things, what our process is. Yeah. Do you remember the date of that in August? The 10th. Ah, I, August 10th. I was actually testing her. I remembered what day it was. I wanted to <laughs> oh, you were testing me. I was testing okay. you past the test. So we're going to get the beans in there. We're going get to dump the corn. So we've got corn. Let's see how much corn do we want. Yeah, that looks good. See what it looks like when yeah. it's stirred. Again, it's definitely going to be colorful. For sure. This is why people are like, you're not following the recipe? Well, mm -hmm. I kind of make everything mm -hmm. how I I look at it. And if I say I'd like to eat that, then that's, yep. that's good. Look or smell. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So Dr. Batali is doing um, July, Dr. Ogan Lacey is doing August. So we have these wonderful meals that are catered. We usually have sponsors pay for the dinner. They come out, um, we have catered in, they bring the food out, we sit down, we have a wonderful dinner, we talk, we chat with the people in the community, um, we chat with the physicians, mm -hmm. with the staff members right. here at ACMC, ask any questions and learn a lot of stuff. What would be that's the, why you fill up. What, that's it's, why we fill up. Right timing. now, we actually have a waiting list for Dr. Novak. Mm -hmm. um, so Dr. Batali is going to fill up quickly. So normally, you can go and find those on our Facebook. If you go to Ashtabula County Medical Center on our Facebook and search, you'll see um, those all listed. That's where, you, that's where you found us here today is on our Facebook. So let's see. We've got, we've got our taco seasoning in here. We've got some corn in here. We've got some beef. This actually looks really delicious, doesn't it? Does. it? It's starting to smell good, too. I have actually never had corn and beans stuffed in a pepper. I, I haven't either. So. I do a lot of um, mushrooms and onions and peppers as my stuffing. My husband. Like lots of veggies. Yeah, my husband is a mushroom and um, onion guy. If everything we make could have mushrooms and onions mm -hmm. on it, he mm -hmm. would be that. That would be yeah. Onions like, are pretty popular. Yeah, yeah. So we've got ground turkey. 
We've got taco seasoning. We've got um, black beans that we've rinsed. We have frozen corn. Just throw it into your taste as much or, or as little as you'd like. If you're watching what you're eating, corn may be mm -hmm. one of those things that you want to kind of do a little bit on the lighter side. We have this 90 second rice. Uh, and this is Walmart brand. So it's not I really, that is. Yeah, yeah, it's not really expensive. It's, I think it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's a nice way too for someone a big family to control the size, the portion size. Absolutely. Absolutely. That way you're not wasting. For sure. So now do we throw the salsa in here? We throw the, everything in there, the rice, the salsa, and part of the cheese. And then okay. we're going to save a little cheese for the top. Oh, fantastic. So let's get a little bit of the salsa in here. So what is the one misconception you think that the womb center, that people get about the womb center? Misconception? Yeah. Ooh. I'm going to tell you one that I think, but you already talked a little bit you about know, it. You know, well, some people think that if they come to the womb center, they're going to have to go into the hyperbaric chambers. That's one that I've heard. Oh. So some people are afraid to come because they don't want to go in there. So that's one I've heard. What's yours? Is that you need a referral. Oh, no, we that's, don't need a referral. Yeah. We're not going to make you go in the chambers. But that's I can't help reason. you in some, uh, in certain wounds. Sure, sure. I mean, like you mentioned all the good things going on in Ashtabula. We are the only wound center in the county with hyperbaric oxygen chambers. Oh, so is that right? Yeah. You'd have to travel out of town for that treatment. So they try to make sure we get the word out about that and that any patient who is eligible has that opportunity. So if I need to be in the hyperbaric chamber, why? Why would you put me in there? What would I? What you know, you do? might have a diabetic wound. Okay. That's, I won't go into too much detail. There's a Wagner 3. Uh, depending on the severity of your wound, you may need to go. If you have a bone infection, that would definitely qualify you. Okay, and so is that just cleaning the air? What 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 is that? What is actually that? you're breathing 100 percent oxygen. Okay, What's that it reminds me of we like plants. You could think of it like a plant. Sure. When you're in there breathing, that oxygen is kind of like a little plant getting watered. At 100 percent, you're creating new vessels. Angiogenesis is the word. Okay. You're creating vessels. When we create those vessels, guess what it carries? Oxygen. oxygen. Guess what heals our body? Oxygen. So that's what we're focused on when we're doing hyperbarics, getting more oxygen to the patient so the cells can proliferate and they can heal. Fant yeah. So really, I'm just sitting in the chamber getting laying, oxygen. You're laying, laying there and you're watching a movie or you're listening to your favorite music. Um, when you're in the chamber, some people are a little bit claustrophobic. You know, there's a person right outside they, it's an acrylic. It almost looks like a tube or a sun, sun can booth. Okay. Um, it, so you are in a closed capsule, but there is always someone sitting right there with you. There are walkie-talkies, so you're in constant communication with the HBO tech. But is it a clear? There is a clear section. It's acrylic, so you can so see through it. Oh, okay. It's not so, a solid tube. You can sure. see out. You can see people moving or talking. So, yeah, so you don't feel so enclosed. enclosed There's right. a little bit of light right. coming in, yep. and you've got you nice. Yep. And you can listen. Or you can sleep. Music. Some people sleep in there. I think for most of us, the way life is so busy, we would love to be trapped. You know <laughs> For what? two hours with no phone, no nothing. I was going to ask, could, could I come right yeah. in? People yeah, want to go all the time. Me. Please close me in. Well, you know, I heard that... Oxygen just does wonderful things mm -hmm, for you. Absolutely. Helps you heal, helps your wounds mm -hmm. heal, helps you can't go wrong. So what else is going on in the wound center? Oh, I thought you were gonna say what else is going in here? I was gonna say rice. We gotta add rice. Oh <laughs> yep. what else is going on in the wound center? Well we have our awards that we won. We're going to the new tower. We talked about that. We've got the HBO chambers, the only ones in the county. Um, we've got the best staff in the world. <laughs> Our team is an excellent team. You know what? I hear that. I hear that. Half half of our team has been there since the beginning. We've been open for 14 years now. And I can honestly say I have a team that puts patients first. There was no break during COVID. Wound care was essential. Um, seen by CMS. And we were there every day taking care of patients. So I do a lot of um, community outreach. So I go out into the community and I talk with people at events and expos and I go out to schools and things. I'm going to tell you almost every time somebody said the wound center saved my foot. Right. They saved right. my leg. They yeah. helped me. They, um, yeah, we just had an article in the Pulse magazine, the last one, 
another lady that, that said that. She flat out said the Wood Center saved my life. Yeah, yeah, it, it's wonderful. And you know what, I just can't say enough to have this care right here at home is, is absolutely fantastic. Yep, I agree. And then again, bringing up the tower, because I'm really excited. Every morning when I walk into work, I'm smiling because I'm looking at that building and every day I feel like I see a change. It's like, wow, that's where we're gonna be. We're, so we're going to have a state-of-the-art wound center. It will really be a great place to come, a great place to work, yeah. a great place to heal patients. When we have a great location to give good care, it helps us. It just yep, absolutely. serves more people. So we have, I put the rice in here. Mm -hmm. We've got the corn, the beans, yep. um, the ground turkey, the salsa, yep. and the taco seasoning. And we're going to do this to taste. Mm -hmm. So I'm we'll gonna do, save some for the top you because bet. we're that kind of girls. <laughs> we do we do like the cheese on top. We, yep. We've we've discussed that. Mm -hmm. So as I make a mess with all of this, we're gonna throw that in there. So now there's a couple ways that you can do this. We've decided that we like ours on the grill. You can throw this in the oven. You can throw it in your. I think you could probably throw it with those little convection ovens. Mm -hmm. Right. Anything right. simple like that. You can just pop it in. Um, I love my peppers on the grill. This is all cooked and it's all yep. done. At this point, yep. you're just softening up the yep. pepper on and the grill. And some people pre-cook their peppers. I don't usually because I like a little crunch. I do too. Mm -hmm. I do too for sure. So I think we're ready to stuff some peppers. I will give you the spoon mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let you go ahead and stuff some peppers. How does that sound? That sounds terrific. I'm gonna try to stuff the one closest to you so we don't make a mess. Well, we'll see. Oh, I don't know, I was already thrilled. Get ready for the bloopers, everybody. Yeah. I've had a few of my own. I don't know if this would be easier for you. Mm -hmm. I'll, work. I'll roll with it. I'm pretty easy going. Yeah, absolutely. Throw this bad boy. So June is Wound Care Awareness Month. We can go in that direction. Okay. We have um, over 7 million people in the nation with chronic wounds that need to be healed. So we are always looking for people to find, treat, and heal in the wound center. We know that there are people sitting home with wounds. Um, we want to get them into the office. Why is it that you think they don't come in? You know, I think some people are afraid. I think some people are embarrassed. You know, we don't, when I was an ICU nurse, I didn't think about what the average wound care patient went through. And sometimes it's, it's something sightly or something maybe even an odor that, that embarrasses people and keeps them home. Oh. And that's why, you know, it's so important. The team just feels, feels like they want to take care of these people. You can actually just improve somebody's quality of life. Yeah. Something yeah. as simple as, as an unsightly wound or something that may have some odor that to keep somebody from living their best life. And the odor is because you're not well. It's right. not well. There's an infection, there is something going on that, that we can It's not because you're on. not clean, it's not because yep. anything like that, if that's a sign that you need to come in and get it looked yep. at and get yourself taken care of. We're pretty down to earth at the wound center. Most people leave laughing. Yeah. You know what, <laughs> I, come, I come back into the wound center and I, there was a patient, he was, he was in a wheelchair, and he was rolling up to the counter, and he said, i got to go get these girls. He said, I've got to tease them. He said, it's my job, and, I, and I'm on a mission. And I said to him, I said, well, let me get out of your way. Mm -hmm. You go over there, and you give right. those girls the business. And he gave me the, he goes, you can count on that. Uh, yeah, we have, <laughs> we have some great patients. And our patients, their plan of care is usually to come back once a week. So we get to know them and they get to know us. Most definitely. We tell them what happens in the wound center stays in the wound center. <laughs> nice to know. Nice to know. I'm go over top with this yeah. one. And that's you know, probably why he just felt like You know, he was at we home. do. We <laughs> treat people like family. Everybody cares. Yeah. And you know what? And that's one thing that I say to everybody when we're doing orientation or when we're talking to um, people here at the hospital is that everybody in here is somebody's family member. Yes. Everybody who's and here I, is for care. I, many of us at, at ACMC live in the community. We've worked here for a long time, so it is our second home. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. we want things to to be well for everyone. We are the largest private employer in the company, mm -hmm. and we're working on, I believe, um, 1,400 people. 
Um, so we are, uh, orientations are just, people are coming in, they want, right. they want a new career, they want to come into the health field, yes. they want to make a difference, they want to help people in the community, and so they're coming here to work. Right. And we're taking the great people with open arms and we're happy mm -hmm. that they're here. You have a wonderful department down there. Um, we, I can't say enough great things about what's going on here at, F, at ACMC. I agree, I agree, Center. and like I say, the, the tower is the topping. Absolutely. And Absolutely. my favorite color is purple. Right now the building looks purple with the insulation or the insulation whatever those panels. Is, yeah, is that an yeah. insulation panel? That's it is. Oh, it we is. have a purple building. <laughs> For a minute. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a lot of people had said, oh, are you guys building a parking garage on the side of the building? <laughs> and I said, no. I said, that's going to be a whole new place oh, to give be great care, mm -hmm. the best care that we can possibly give here in Asheville County. So you've been with um, the Wound Center now. Tell me again. Oh boy, when did I come there as the nurse manager? 15 I came as the nurse manager, so the years are racking up, Allison. Wow, wow. And so you are, what is your title there? Program director. Program director. I think you probably already told me that, but I just wanted to, just kind of cross in my T's and dot <laughs> my I's, just wanted to, what did, somebody had said to me once, I'm dotting my I's and crossing my I'm dotting my T's and crossing my I's. Hmm. I said, okay, well, if that's how we're... <laughs> that works, goes with the fixings. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have a little glass. Let's see how this tastes now that it's been sit sitting for a little while. We're going to get a little bit of our cucumber. I think and... it's going to float right out of this container. That's good. I like it floating. Maybe. Oh, there it's we gonna... go. There we go. That'll do it. I'm going to take a little taste oh. of this. Um, I'll take, yeah, I'll take the bonus cucumbers. Those are bonus. I, I want a cucumber. Those. Yeah. Or two. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Here's to ACMC and the new building. Cheers. Ching, ching. Yeah. Mm, it smells good and it tastes mm -hmm. good. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I know. I don't want to put it down. Mm -hmm. Have another. So, honestly, as this is cook, is this is still cooking? Mm -hmm. You have now a little side. You can actually put this in a wrap. You can make wraps with this. You yeah. can do a lot of things with the extra that you have. You know, I'm even thinking like breakfast burrito or breakfast scram. That that's up my Mint. husband. Yeah, I know. Mint. <laughs> that's up my husband's alley. He makes eggs in the morning, uh -huh. and the things that he throws Whatever's in our eggs, over, right? Well, he chops, and mm -hmm. yeah, that's how we cook. We don't waste anything. We're really yep. big about just. We are too. Yeah. So, anything else that you want to bring up that's going on? Oh boy, we talked about wound care awareness. Are you going to be at our community connection? I am going to be Alrighty. on the sidewalk with you. Absolutely. Next Friday, on um, Friday the 26th, 1230 to 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're going to be right outside of the plaza across the street from the hospital. We're going to have lots of vendors out there. They're going to be talking about different things that are going on in the community, um, Catholic Charities, mm -hmm. the Wound Center, Premier Fitness, um, ACMC is going to do some glucose and blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, we have lots of different things, Ohio Means Jobs, um, Apex Dermatology. We have so many vendors coming out and each of the vendors are bringing a basket. We're going to raffle those off. You can come get some great information. If you're looking for a physician, we can give you a piece of paper with some of the physician's names that are welcoming new patients for you to, to help you choose. Um, talk to us, ask us questions. You'll get to meet Connie um, and ask Thank anything you. that you want. We'll even do some sign-ups if you'd like to come to Dr. Whew, I thought you were going to say we were going to cook. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know what? Honestly, this was really pretty simple. Yeah, this was a simple meal. This was a really mm -hmm. simple, great meal, and I'm actually looking forward to this. This looks really great. You know, I'm glad you mentioned primary care providers because I think since COVID kind of went through, we have a lot of patients coming in with no primary care providers. So I think that's something we really want everybody to know is there are providers out there that are taking new patients Absolutely. and we want to get them in. Yeah. It's so important to have that level of care. Absolutely. And we really, I like to say we're kind of across the county. We Absolutely. have Orwell, we have um, Conneaut, we have Jefferson, Geneva, and here in Ashtabula. So right. we can see you at any location. Yeah. Please come in. And I always tell people, and it's kind of touchy, but I always say, you know what? Just come in for a first initial visit. 
And if you didn't click, right. we have many other right. primary care who are, who are welcoming new patients to find that right one for you. Because that's important that, that you important. have that We see that at the Wound Center, too. We have six different providers. So if somebody, if that click isn't there, we can move you to somebody else. Everybody's been trained and will yeah. do a great job yeah. for you. I'm pretty easygoing. Like, I will see anybody and I'll be, now my daughter is, she needs that connection. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. needs to feel that I'm going in to talk to somebody and having a chat with right. them. And she found that in our Jefferson location. So right. she goes to Jefferson and she loves it there and she loves her primary care. Mm -hmm. um, and she said, I just can go in and say, okay, this is what's wrong with me. Help me. Mm -hmm. And right. she has that click with her primary care. She did um, actually go to two different primary cares mm -hmm. before she found the one that when she worked with. And there's nothing wrong with that. We encourage you to do that. We encourage you to find the right physician for you. And we can help you do that. Um, 997-6969 is the number you call to make an appointment to get in for a, a wellness visit to, to sign up to get it to see a new physician or order, get your first primary care. Right, make that connection. Make that connection. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to say we're going to take one of these off and take a look at it and see how well they are. But we're going to let the rest of them cook for a little while. But we're going to pull it out, take a take a look at it, see what we've got. Do you want to grab that? Phone sure, I'll grab that. They're sizzling. They are. We needed to put that extra little sprinkle of cheese on top, too. We talked about yeah. that. Let's do that now. Show you what we have here. So as we're going to do this, and we're going to kind of wrap it up, um, it, everything that we wanted to hit and talk about the Wound Healing Center, um, and we want to invite everybody to look at our Facebook page to come Absolutely. out and see Dr. Ogan Lacey um, in, in August. August, and Connie will be with me on um, this Friday out at our Community Connection Fair. So if there's anything that you want to ask Connie about Dr. Ogan Lacey, the Wound Center, right. she'll be out here Friday at the table just to come in yep. and have a great conversation with us. We're looking forward to meeting you there. And then we're gonna put the lid on and let these little suckers cook for a little bit longer. So we are gonna have the recipe down below. Um, you'll see that in the comments. So if you're interested in making this recipe wise, you can do that or you can just kind of wing it like we right. did. Pick any pepper, pick any ingredients you want. Yeah, have someone you like in your kitchen with you, cook, enjoy mm -hmm. your time together, um, and make something good, something simple. So thank you for coming to cook with me today and telling us about the I feel like center. you did all the work. <laughs> well, you know what, normally- Everything's to the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess we probably should have switched and I should have, I should have like, this is no, like, perfect. my husband Thanks does all the time, me. he said, do you want me to do that? Do you want me to help? Mm -hmm. And I just kind of do. So, yeah. So thanks for coming. I'm thanks excited to be you. in the new um, hospital soon. We got a year and a half to almost two years to go. So, but we would hope and invite you to come out to see us this Friday, 1230 to three o'clock. Come get a chance to win um, a basket. Right. Get some great community information, some great ACMC health information. Wound Center. Right. If you have any questions for me, you can always call me. I can be reached at the Wound Center. Again, I'll throw the number out there, 440-994-7540. Again, okay. no referral needed and, and no harm in asking any questions. I'll take whatever question you have. Absolutely. So this is an almost done. We just wanted to show you our product here. An almost done um, pepper. It's really simple, and again, we'll post the recipe, and we hope you enjoy enjoyed this, and we hope to see you next month.